Hello, Creality users, and hello, Creality Cloud users. And those of you not using Creality Cloud, I'm here once again to implore you and encourage you to start learning how to use it and incorporating it into your workflow. I come with the news that the Creality Cloud box has yet again received another firmware update, and this is part of a lengthy and continued support by Creality that is so nice to see. Those of you unfamiliar with the Creality Cloud Box, it is a little box that connects to your printer via USB, giving that printer a lineup of new features that allow it to be incorporated into Creality Cloud, which offers online Wi-Fi printing, camera monitoring, online controls, and other features found in the newer printers that have these wireless Creality Cloud hardware and software features built in. Those of you who own a Creality Cloud box need to go to your Creality Cloud account and look at your workshop. You are going to notice your cloud boxes have a new update available to them. Updating the firmware of the cloud box couldn't be easier. Simply click on the red update now link. In here, you will see the new updates available to you. Here we have seven updates. Number one talks about fixing an issue that might cause the nozzle to actually touch your model after a print has finished. I have never encountered this problem. Number two fixes the disconnection problem of some printers. This is a big one and this is something that may actually have caused people in the past not to use the Creality Cloud Box. I was one of those people. I have not had this problem for some time now but I'm happy they are still continuing to address it. Number three is related to number two, talks about fixing an issue that caused the print to disconnect due to receiving a network connection request during the printing process. So we have two fixes resolving issues involving disconnects. Number four, optimize the print effect. I'm not sure what they are referencing there. Number five, Optimize the feature of removing the nozzle for time-lapse video. This is a very popular feature in which during time-lapse the nozzle is moved out of the way for the image. I find that to be a little bit of a waste of time, but people like doing it. Number six, optimization of the video streaming network transmission. This is a big one and this is something that hurt the CloudBox in its earlier days. The video monitoring feature of the CloudBox and Creality Cloud as a whole has drastically improved since those days, and I am again happy to see they are still paying attention and still optimizing that. Number seven, optimize the LOT reconnection logic, whatever that means. So enough talking about the update. Go ahead and click update now. It will show you the new version and ask you again, you press update, and it will send the firmware update wirelessly to your Creality Cloud box. You will see the progress bar appear, and when it is done, your Creality Cloud box will reboot and install the update. Once the update is complete, Creality Cloud will say, successfully updated, and you press OK, and you may return to your device manager. In your device manager, it will again remind you it has successfully been updated. You press OK, and here is that machine no longer showing that the firmware version is too low. However, there have been occasional instances where I have lost my printer binding due to a firmware update and had to go ahead and rescan the QR code on the bottom of the Creality Cloud Wi-Fi box and re-add it to my Creality Cloud account. So do be aware before starting, this may happen and may require a few extra minutes of your time. I am very pleased to see Creality continue to support the little black box that brings Creality Cloud to virtually all of their older printers. And if you have some of these older printers with no wireless connection, I recommend getting online and grabbing yourself a Creality Cloud box because it does offer you access to Creality Cloud, which is a very nice platform for printing and monitoring your machines wirelessly through your computer or your cell phone or tablet. Hey.